And if we haven't gone back with the suntan, at least we're going back shining because we laugh so much, don't we? <laughs> right, we're going to sing God's Soldier Marches as to all. We're going to fill, fill, fill the world with glory. And we're going to stand. Come on, you lot. We've only got another hour to go. <laughs>
do with a scream from the ship. She's not doing it for a week, but she's not speaking to me. Oh, oh we're doing that? We got some messages and birthdays and then your birthdays coming. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm really beginning to feel my age. <laughs> but I'm not quite as old as Catherine. <laughs> I tell you, four months makes all the difference. Yeah. yeah. At least I don't look it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The gloves are off. <laughs> right. We have. Well, we have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Is Trevor in the house? Trevor. Trevor. Yay. Yeah. We are Trevor. Right. I'm back up there on the uh, on the shelf, as it were. If still there. And there's another one. The song that, that Trevor, Brenda's, the Trevor's mum, Brenda, has asked for a song, but we're not doing that to the end, is that right? That's right. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have your song later that your mum asked us to do. So we're going to sing Happy Birthday to David and Trevor. Anybody else's birthday today? Anybody else's birthday? We'll get Mark oh, to give yes, you a kiss. Birthday. Mark will give you a kiss if it's your birthday. Right.
a new way of conducting on the front row here, Kevin. Yes. Ladies with their bare feet conducting. <laughs> It's a very novel, very novel. Very Try smelly. Novel. <laughs> We're going to sing again. Um, the song At the Cross, At the Cross, where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. We're going to do it sort of country style. Yeah, with a good place.
and so true. Gordon, he's there with his video camera. Can you stand up, Gordon, a minute? Every year, some of you will know that Gordon videos everything. Absolutely everything of the week, don't you? And he will send you a whole... I mean, there's hundreds of them last year. How many were there last year? Lot, lots of videos. But of... Pardon? Right. Right. So, if you would like to order any videotapes of the week, and you would like to see Gordon, he is over here. He's also produced a little booklet as well, haven't you, Gordon? So, if you would like to have a laugh during the year and have a look at them, then excellent. Then please see Gordon afterwards, and he will be more than happy to oblige. Now, I'm just going to ask a few minutes, the team, they're all looking, <laughs> looking exhausted here. Can you, can you think for a minute what has been your, what your favourite bit of the week? Okay, your favourite bit. I'll tell you my favourite bit. We've had little Oliver with us in the front here. And um, it has been wonderful to watch Oliver. Because he has just decided he's going to be in the entertainment team too. He has started clapping and wanting to dance and there was no way tonight he was going to sit in that push chair when we were sit all singing and standing and dancing. He was up and he was gone. And it's just been such a joy to see... How, how old is he, Catherine? 21 months. 21 months. And yet he's been worshipping with us. And that has just been so special this week. I've really enjoyed watching him. Catherine, your first year with us, what's been your, your best bit? It's hard um, to actually think of one moment. Um, because it's my first year, I've really, you know, tried to embrace everything and it's just been fantastic. Um, obviously, I've really enjoyed doing the Tim Rolls. Uh, so, um, and they did, um, they did an excellent job tonight. Um, but favourite bit, I think it's just the worship together. Um, it's just marvellous, it's just brilliant that we are all here together worshipping God. It's just great. So, um, I think it's the worship, I think, for me. Okay, Anna, go on. Yeah, I agree with that. And also the fellowship and just talking to you guys. It's been fantastic to get to know somebody that I didn't know before, new faces, and also to catch up with the ones that have been before and see what you've been up to throughout the year. And Mark? Standing on this platform, on this stage, seeing the joy and the happiness and the laughs on your faces. It is such a privilege and an honour um, to be standing here every night. I don't know what I've done to deserve it, and it is such a privilege. I think of all the people, so I saw all the officers, what have I done to deserve this privilege? And you guys just give me so much joy to see the joy on your faces. Thank you. We would ask Keith. But Keith is running up to his chalet at the moment because he's got the competition winner of the week and he's left it in his room. So if he felt old a few minutes ago, he's going to feel twice as old when he comes when he's back in here. <laughs> but, whilst, but whilst we're waiting for him, uh, we're going to sing again and it's the song that Trevor's mum has dedicated to Trevor. It's the founder's song. Oh, bound for salvation. Are we up for all the verses? Yeah. Excellent. Do you know when when we we decided that we were gonna get we were gonna get creative in our house one year. And you know this stenciling? You know the stenciling? And we decided that in one of our bedrooms it would be nice to do stenciling around the wall. And my husband suggested that we did a song. Weight this week, these chances don't fit anymore. 
<laughs> well, my, she got my answer. She answered me. <laughs> oh, now it's the winner. Okay. Oh, what have I enjoyed about the week? Our answer's right. Just one. I've got two. Um, I don't know, so many things. I do you know what I love? I really love coming here and seeing all you lot. You know, that, that for me is just love to see people that I've got to know over the years and, you know, to see those same happy, smiling faces and some of those grumpy faces as well. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's great. It's really lovely. And, and what's lovely is when I go around the country, um, so many of you come up to me and say, You're right, Keith! And for a moment I go, Okay. <laughs> And then I wait for the magic word. And they go, you go to New Horizons next year, and you go, yes. <laughs> and I know, you know, and um, you know, a lot of you I don't know by name, but I know you by faces, and it's lovely. I love it when I go around the country. And people come up to me and say, we go to Buckins, and that, and, and that's great, and that, I really enjoy that. And it is, it's you guys that make this week for us. And uh, you know, for me, it's a privilege to be here um, and to, to share with you. And um, I hope I will be continue to be allowed to come for many years to come. Thank you. Although at this rate I might not be able to do any dancing or anything. Oh. I'm too old for it all. <laughs> right. Now we had um we didn't tax your brains too much this year by giving you one of these every day. Um, just one for the whole week. Um, interestingly enough. I discovered that I put one of the dingbats that I put on, I put on last year. And some of you still couldn't get it the second year. <laughs> so um, anyway, I, the, the, uh, the people that actually got the most correct answers are Ada and Brenda in Dolphin 107. <laughs> are Ada and Brenda here? Yes, good. Come on down and get your prize. <laughs> It's another exciting prize from SPS. <laughs> Does any of you want to know what the dingbat, what the dingbats were? Um, the star around, some of you will have no idea what I'm talking about, was Kira Knightley. I think most of you got that. Um, the ex mascara had one or two interesting ones for that. That was Kiss and Make Up. See, X, mascara, X, makeup. Um, so the, um, oh, hang on, here's someone. Heaven to, heaven, he hell to, heaven one. Paradise lost. Okay. And the Aston Villa four, Charlton one, Arsenal four, Everton one, Liverpool four, Bradford one, Manchester United four, Chelsea one, Sunderland four, Leicester one, West Ham four, Tottenham four. I had one or two interesting ones for that, but it was all for one and one for all. <laughs> of course, I didn't leave these up, I got them off the website because it's far too intelligent for me. So, well done, all those of you that uh, had a go, and uh, sorry the rest of you didn't quite get them right, but uh, good luck next time. Excellent. So, we come to our last song before Melvin comes to do the epilogue with us, and we're going to do a boundless salvation. Amen. Wait, oh, we've got to stand for this one. Yeah. Come on, guys. Last, the last one. Let's see your flags. Get yeah. your flags up. Yeah, your flags. Boom. Scottish, Welsh, English, whatever. Danish. Oh.
Thanks very much, Brian. And if I was Frank Sinatra, I'd be singing, and now the end is near. <laughs> and so we face the final curve. But all is good. Um, I don't have the privilege of core officership um, at all. But I do believe, and I've told my friends this, um, and those who know me best would know, that I do believe the Lord, every year, it gives me a call for one week of about 600 people. <laughs> and that's how I look upon New Horizons, and, uh, and each of you as part of that uh, fellowship of people. The other privilege I certainly had, um, apart from obviously working with the excellent team that we have, is putting this planning together that allows me this decision Maybe I shouldn't do it always, but to be the last voice and just to be able to share the final epilogue at the end of New Horizons. Some of you were here three years ago and you will remember me coming along with a, a blanket that I got from Catherine, I think. And uh, I came along because only two weeks earlier, the, uh, what was it, hardly two weeks earlier, the, uh, the triplets had been born and so you were the first people to really know much about that and I sang golden slumbers kiss your eyes smiles will wake you when you rise sleep pretty darlings do not cry and daddy will sing a lullaby well that's what I thought was going to happen and every time I get the privilege of uh, putting the children to bed at all we sing that, but you see, it's not like that now. Things are very different. <laughs> and that is bedtime. Just a few weeks ago, with the excitement of, who wants to go to bed first? Me? No, actually, that wasn't what I said. But, um, <laughs> the, um, and so when we go, uh, put them to bed, we do sing Golden Slumbers and golden summers to them every time I have that, uh, that privilege and that opportunity. Um, we sing at the end of the day, just kneel and pray. Thank you, God, for the love. And they sing along because that's what they know. And then they know we always have prayers. And before we sing, before we pray, I simply say to them, okay, what should we pray about now? Now, um, let's sing all the things we've done today. So we're going to say a thank you prayer. And every time I get this lovely privilege of sharing prayers with them, so they all start telling me of all the things that they've done today that we've got to say thank you for, to God for. So whether it's going on the swings, or whether it's eating the food, or whether it's going to the playgroup, or all the things that they've done, you know, they all tell me, so, okay, now we're, we're um, okay, let's all say prayers. And so Daddy says prayers. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you. And I try to remember as much as I can. And after a few moments, they will start interrupting me. Uh, don't forget, we clean teeth. So we've got to say prayers for teeth. Oh, and we had sandwiches. We went to the park. And I'm trying to pray. And all they're doing is thinking of other things that they could be praying about and giving me some good ideas of all those uh, extras that I need to add into the prayers and do have to say. No, that, that's enough. God understands all of that. That's okay. Don't worry about it. I feel a little bit like that at the end of this week. You know, this idea of prayers. What should we pray for? And it's as if there's lots of different ideas coming back in. And so I've got this um, little basket here. Apart from the army flag, the basket would appear empty. But um, symbolically, I'd like to hold this basket out and I'd like you to symbolically throw your prayers into the basket. What have you got to say thank you to the Lord for about this week? Throw your prayers into the basket. What do you want to say thank you to God for? What is special about this week for you, about today? What is it in your heart and mind that you just want to come to God and say thank you? We you put it in the basket? And so I'm here to collect a basket full of prayers. Because if we actually invited you all to say those prayers, it will be just like prayer time with the triplets. 
Yeah, you'd be interrupting me as I'm trying, reminding me of all the other things that we need to add into our prayers. But here is the basket, and I invite you to put those prayers in. As we sing the little chorus that says, Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Because here is the greatest prayer of thanks that you can possibly imagine, isn't it? Thank you, Lord, to say. Thank you, Lord, for all the things that you've done for this wonderful holiday. But above all, it's my relationship with God that counts. Thank you, Lord. And as we do, just uh, as it were, say your prayers and throw them in this basket.
and I look forward to seeing many of you on Friday the 4th of September 2009. God bless you.